Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Umzuzu. We're going to talk about managing multiple email addresses. I'm Tony Sheets and I receive email at tsheets at umzuzu.com. But I've also had a couple of aliases or nicknames assigned to me by the administrator. One's training at umzuzu.com and one's webinar at umzuzu.com. So when I receive messages to either of these email addresses, they just show up right here in my inbox. This one was sent to training and this one was sent to a webinar. It'd be a lot better if I could see what email address it was sent to, my T-Sheets, training, or webinar, and then also be able to respond to those messages uh, as those email addresses. So to do this, I'm gonna go into my settings, and I'm gonna click right there, and then choose accounts. Under accounts, we'll see send mail as. So I'm gonna add another email address you own. I'll click right there, and I'm gonna do Zuzu webinar and webinar at um, zuzu.com. I put in my email address. I'm not going to treat it as an alias for various reasons, but we'll come back to that. Uh, so I'm going to send verification. This is going to send an email to webinar at umzuzu.com to verify the email address. I'm going to go ahead and add another one while I'm at it. So this one we're going to do training um, zuzu and training at umzuzu.com. And again, I'm not going to treat it as an alias. Next step, send verification. So I've sent emails to both of these email addresses, seeing if the person will say that it's okay to send us those. Those will come into my inbox. They look like this. And I just need to click on this link in the email to verify the email address. And that means that I can then send as those email addresses. When I go to compose a new message, I will have the ability to choose from which email address I'm going to send. All very good. So the next step is I want to know when one of these messages comes in sent to one of these email addresses. So for that, I'm going to create a filter. I'm going to take this training at Zuzu email address, and this little drop down here shows me advanced search options. I'm going to search to any message sent to training at mzuzu.com. Create a filter with this search. I want to apply the label. We'll do a new label called training. And we'll go ahead and match that to the existing conversations as well. All right. So now in my inbox, we'll see that messages sent to training have the training label. Let's give that a nice bright color. I'm going to click on this down arrow and choose uh, this peach color for training. I want to do the same thing with uh, webinar. So if it's sent to webinar at umzuzu.com, we want to create a filter with that search. We want it to apply the label, new label, webinar, and apply to existing. So here at a glance, and we'll give that a, a nice color too, we'll give that a uh, orange color. So I've got these two right here. So at a glance, I can see if it came into that address. I also can go back to my settings and choose that when I respond to a message, I can reply from the same address the email was sent to. So if I reply to one of those webinar messages, it will go out as webinar. If I reply to a message sent to training, it will go out as training by default. So here in my inbox, we can see what it looks like when we receive a brand new message. I'll switch over to another account. I've got two messages ready to go, one to webinar and one to training. I'm going to send both of those. And then here in our inbox, within a few moments, we'll receive those messages. And you'll see that they're already labeled training and webinar, so I know what they're about. And if I were to respond to one of them, it will go out as the account test back. And we'll see that our recipient receives that message being sent from training. So just some simple ways to manage this. You can also do things with your filters like uh, have it skip your inbox or only show these messages over here if they're unread. Otherwise, they'd hide down here under the label list. Thank you. I hope you find that helpful.